Hai, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh We are logging in to chapter 10 Carboxylic Acid Derivative I'm here with my children at the playground And let's record introduction and synthesis of carboxylic acid uh -uh. We have learned how to draw the structures and name the carboxyl compounds according to IUPAC nomenclature for compounds that have 1 carbon until 10 carbon you also have to know the common names for carboxylic acid which has 1 to 5 carbons then we are going to look at physical properties this all this is all revision acidity uh, this is new we are going to do acidity of carboxylic acid in comparison with alcohol phenol all right and then we're going to look at halogenated carboxylic acid. How are we going to prepare carboxylic acid? All of the reactions we have learned here. So we're going to do a lot of revision in chapter 10. There is one hadith mentioning um, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that vinegar or acetic acid, the IUPAC name is ethanoic acid, has a lot of benefit for us. So scientifically, we um, scientists have discovered that vinegar contains a little bit of protein and starchy foods, as well as a lot of minerals. Among the traces minerals are... Um, calcium, magnesium, um, phosphorus, iron, zinc, and chlorine. Okay, now I am at home. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was said to be using vinegar as food flavoring, and he said the Prophet before him also used it in cooking. At that time, vinegar was made from grapes and dates. Vinegar is also used to ease tooth discomfort and stress, also to treat abdominal pain. So, uh, Prophet, uh, another hadith said that he wanted to um, use vinegar as a dip for bread. So, it's important in food have a lot of benefit benefit for us vinegar is also used as anti-cough anti-inflammation best for digestive qualities ibn sina at his time uh, researched on the use of vinegar and um, in medicine it can prevent blood loss because it's a powerful um, a clot agent. Right, what is the uh, functional group in homologous series carboxylic acid? Yes, we name the group carboxyl group. So as you can see in the structures here, it is C double bond O O H, and it can be aliphatic, it can be aromatic. So uh, the carboxylic acid functional group is shown as uh, we see in the slide CO2H or COOH. When we were bitten by ants, um, why do you feel pain? Because it releases formic acid. That's the compound that is released by ants when it bites you. Acetic acid, we talk a lot about it. Citric acid is in lemon and all citrus fruits. Tartaric acid is in tamarind. It's quite important for us during cooking time. Here are the common names for carboxylic acid which you have to know 
formic acid is the methanoic acid with only one carbon. Ethanoic acid is an acetic acid. Propanoic acid is propionic. Butanoic is butyric. Whereas pentanoic is valeric. So if the question comes in final exam, where we refer to the carboxylic acid as common name, for example, valeric, you need to know it has five carbons. This is in syllabus. Your next task is to do practice 10.1, draw the structures of the following compounds. Don't take a lot of time to do this. It, we should be able to do it quickly since we have done the naming a long time ago. This is just a revision, remember? The name carboxylic acid itself is indication of how acidic it is. The compound is a weak acid. Judging by its um, acid ionization constant Ka is ranging between 10 to the power of negative 4 to 10 to the power of negative 5 and it changes the blue litmus paper into red because RCOH ionize in water to produce RCOO minus and hydronium ion. So compared to alcohol, carboxylic acid are much acidic because it forms um, resonance stabilization in a carboxylate ion. Let's look at what carboxylate ion is. Do you remember we learned about acidity and basicity back in chapter 7, Sam 1? Acidity means a compound can easily uh, donate or release its proton or H+. So carboxylic acid is not a strong acid, it's a weak acid because it ionized partially. However, it is stronger than phenol, it is stronger than alcohol due to the resonance stabilization. As you can see here, carboxylic acid is stronger acid than phenol, water and alcohol. What is carboxylate ion? Carboxylate ion is an ion formed when carboxylic acid uh, ionized in water. So it will produce identical resonance structure, two of them, whereby the electrons is going to be localized between two oxygen atoms. If the double bond is up here, the lower oxygen would have the negative charge. And as you can see, this is the arrow for resonance structure. And then if the double bond is down here, the upper oxygen is going to get the negative charge. This is different from phenoxide ion because the electron in phenoxide ion is localized inside the benzene ring. It doesn't involve the oxygen atom. And the carboxyl group in carboxylic acid is an electron withdrawing group, EWG, whereby it will reduce the electron density of hydroxy group. Ah, so here, the hydroxy bond becomes weaker, making the electrons move around rapidly. Proton now is easily donated. Uh, where is the proton? This one, H+, plus, is going to be given to water and it will produce hydronium ion. Therefore, carboxylic acid is more acidic than phenol. Okay, what is alkoxide ion? Alkoxide ion is the ion formed when alcohol is 
um, manage to ionize with water. It has no resonance structure at all, so it is the least acidic. Ah, this is phenoxide ion. Okay, we have a phenol and then the proton from hydroxy group of phenol is uh, transferred to H2O. Uh -huh. They are going to form a dative covalent bond with water and become hydronium ion. So here is phenoxide ion whereby the electrons circulate or delocalize inside the ring. Now this is an alcohol, ROH, and at certain point when the proton is transferred to water, it becomes alkoxide ion. There is no resonance at all. Now let's look at the subsequent effects on acidity of carboxylic acid. Uh, this effect is called inductive effect. If we have an EWG, it will stabilize the carboxylic ion and increase the acidity. But if we have an EDG, it destabilizes the carboxylic ion and decreases the acidity. The electron withdrawing group will be attached to the carboxylate ion, making it more negative. This will make the carboxylate ion more stable, making the acidity higher. So what happens when we attach EDG to a carboxylate acid? Uh, this time around, EDG will donate its electron to carboxylate ion, making the stability of the negative charge at the carboxylate ion less stable. Uh, we are already stable having a negative charge. You give us more electron, we are not stable now. Uh, so it will make uh, carboxylate ion less acidic. So um, here is the pKa. You remember pKa is negative log of Ka. Okay. The higher the pKa, the less acidic a compound is. So here you can see the para nitro benzoic acid is the having highest acid acidity because the pKa is the least 3.41. EWG withdraw electron. So it will reduce the electron density of the OH bond. Uh, this will make um, H plus easier to be released, uh, making it more acidic. So, the more electronegative an EWG is, the stronger the effect of EWG towards the compound, making it more acidic. So, let's look at these three compounds. On the left is a carboxylic acid, then nitanoic acid, where bromine is attached to the second carbon. The pKa is 2.9. Chlorine is more electronegative than bromine, situated at the same place. It has pKa 2.86, lower. And finally, on the right, fluorine is the most electronegative element, situated at the same carbon. It has pKa 2.66. This proves that the more electronegative an EWG is, the more acidic the carboxylic acid it attached to. Now, what happens if we have one or more groups of EDG attached to our carboxylic acid?
uh, as we have shown in this example. The first compound on the left doesn't have any chlorine atom, so the pKa is the highest, 4.74. And the second one here has only one carbon. The pKa decreases significantly. The third compound has two chlorines. Again, the acidity increases. And finally, when you have three chlorines attached to the second carbon for this ethanoic acid, the pKa now is 0 0.65. That is how much an EDG will affect the stability of the carboxylate ion. Another factor that we have to take into consideration is the distance between EWG and the carboxyl group. So, for the left compound here, we can see that the chlorine is attached to the two, three, fourth carbon in this butanoic acid, whereas the middle compound here, the chlorine is at, attached to the third carbon, and on the right, the chlorine or EWG is attached to the second carbon of the butanoic acid. It shows that the pKa decreases. So the further away an EWG from carboxyl group, the effect of inductivity is less effective. Now let's look at the inductive effect of a larger EDG group on carboxylic acid. So, as the electron density of the OH bond becomes greater, the H plus is difficult to be released. So, as you can see on the left here, is a propanoic acid that has two alkyl group. Ah, so, the pKa is the highest, showing that it is less acidic. The middle here has only one methyl group, so the pKa is lower. Propanoic acid has no methyl group, so the acidity is higher. The pKa is lowest. Let's do question 1, practice 10.2. Arrange the following compounds in order of decreasing acidity and explain. So we need to explain what happened to each of these four compounds as we arrange them in descending acidity. So uh, is there any alcohol here? Yes. Ethanol would have the least acidity, it would be on the far right, because it has alkoxide ion, which has no resonance stabilization, making it the least acidic. That is how to explain why it has the lowest pH. And then... Um, the compound that has a higher uh, acidity uh, than ethanol would be a phenol because phenol has um, 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 stabilization of resonance only inside the benzene ring. So phenoxide ion of phenol has stabilization but only inside the ring. Ah, okay, um, after phenol, we have a higher acidity for ethanoic acid because ethanoic acid has carboxylate ion, which has resonance stabilization. That's it. And the compound that has the highest acidity would be an ethanoic acid, which has an EWG group attached to it. 
Uh, so having a EWG group, ethanoic acid would have a higher acidity because EWG will attach to the carboxylate ion and delocalize the negative charge inside and making the carboxylate ion more stable. Uh, so please write down all the answers for question number one as I have um, explained to you just now. Your job is to continue with question number two. Let's discuss the answers in Telegram group channel or I will just make a different set of video for practices. Okay, now let's go through how do we prepare carboxylic acid. We have learned all of this previously. So fill in your mind map. The first reaction would be the oxidation of primary alcohol aldehydes and alkyl benzene. The second reaction is the reaction of RCN, cyano compound that we uh, formed from haloalkin with H2O, H plus and heat. And the third reaction would be the reaction of Greenock reagent with carbon dioxide, H2O and H+. All three reactions is producing carboxylic acids. Let's do the examples. Okay, let's do the first reaction. Oxidation of primary alcohols, aldehydes and alkyl benzene. Question number one. What is this compound called? This is not an alkyl benzene because there's no double bond alternately inside the ring. This is a cyclohexyl methanol. React it with sodium dichromate in acidic environment. This is a diluted sulfuric acid and heat. We are going to produce, firstly, you draw the cyclohexane i hope i will draw a beautiful one here yeah, okay and then you're going to oxidize the methanol on top of the cyclohexane like this so what is the name of this product the name is cyclohexane carboxyl Silic acid. Ah, why? We put carboxylic acid because the carbon is outside the ring. It's not inside cyclohexane. Second question. This is an aldehyde which has a hydroxy group attached to it. Uh, so this is a double bond O over here with a H. So I'm just restructuring the drawing so that we can see the functional groups clearer. Now we are doing oxidation, but you have to scan through the whole compound. Hydroxy compound will also be oxidized when treated with potassium permanganate, acidic and heat. Remember? So, we are not just going to produce carboxylic acid, we also are going to produce a ketone. Why? Because secondary alcohol will be oxidized to become ketone. So, let's draw the product down here. So, the carbon over here will become a ketone. Okay. I've crossed this out and uh, this is gone, oxidized. And then another CH2 over here, CH2 over here, and this carbon will become the carboxyl group. Okay, so what is the name for this compound? Ah, there is one, 
two, three, four, five carbon. So four oxo. Um, no need dash here. Pentanoic acid. All right, that's your answer. Question number three. Here is the alkyl benzene we were talking about. So let's draw the um, benzene ring. Oh, this is a landscape ones. I usually do it vertically. Draw the chlorine atom. And this is an ethyl group attached to the benzene ring. So if we want to oxidize an alkyl benzene, we need to see whether the benzylic carbon has hydrogen or not. So here, an ethyl group has two hydrogen attached to the benzylic carbon, so the oxidation can happen. So we put carbon, double bond O, OH. So this is a four chlorobenzoic acid or parachlorobenzoic acid. Let's do the hydrolysis of nitrile compounds. This is a second reaction to produce carboxylic acid. So um, this is a 2-chlorobutane. We are going to produce a uh, 2-cyano. Let's draw it here. CH3, CH, CN would be down here. Replacing Cl at carbon number 2. And we have 2-cyanobutane. Now, when we hydrolyze the nitrile compound formed, we are going to get CH3, CH, CH2, CH3. Here is the C double bond O, OH. Basically, this would be carbon number 1, carbon number 2, carbon number 3, carbon number 4, and this is the substituent. The product that we formed is 2 methyl butanoic acid. Ah, so this is a space bar, but this is not. Okay, question number two. If we want to do the formation of nitrile compound together with hydrolysis, we need to write the reagents accordingly. First step, KCN ethanol reflux. Second step, H2O, H+. So if we do this, we don't need to draw the nitrile compound. Instead, we can draw the carboxylic acid uh, directly. So here is the methyl group. Here is the three carbon. And then the Br is going to become Cn and the Cn is going to become a carboxyl group here. So this is the product for example 10.2, question number 2. Now let's look at the third reaction, how to produce carboxylic acid. Example 10.3, question number 1. Mm -hmm. Here, we want to do carboxylation of Grignard reagent. So let's draw the Grignard reagent over here. CH3, CH2, CH, and then we have an ethyl down here. What we are going to do is attach this carbon with the carbon coming from carbon dioxide. And here would be attach the new carboxyl group. We are producing a 1, 
two, three, four. Two etil butanoic acid. Question number two. Let's draw the cyclopentane over here. I'm not good at drawing cyclic compounds. See, it's not balanced. The, let's draw the methyl group attached to that carbon. And here would be attached the carboxyl group. So carboxylation means we are um, putting in carboxyl group into the reactant. That's it for lesson 78. Thank you very much for watching, my students. Let's uh, continue on to lesson 79, uh, chemical reactions of carboxylic acid.